しませありがとうございますお預かりいたしますありがとうございますありがとうございます鍵入ってね I'm leaving on a jet plane. Waking up, feeling the taste of our fight last night. Breaking up, making a mess of an all good life. It's a gorgeous 23 degree day here in Seoul. I've literally just landed, dropped my things off at my Airbnb apartment and walked up the road to the Nam Sangol Hanok village. Let's check out some traditional village stuff. I'm in Myeongdong and I'm sure that I've butchered the pronunciation of it. What's cooler than a bridge to cross? Stepping stones. It's day two. I woke up a little bit later than I wanted to. So today, let's head out and explore a bit more of Seoul. This palace is particularly impressive. It's absolutely massive. This palace and the architecture is quite similar to Japanese, except one thing I noticed is it's so colorful. Something I've noticed they do here is they have school children do the tour guiding in English, which I think is really cool. Helps them practice their English and also improves their presentation skills. So Japan, take note. Have your school kids do the tours. It's a fantastic idea. I've made my way to the Bukchon Hanok village. Let's have a look. Mm. 
1.4 k's uphill. Okay. Getting quite the workout with all of these stairs. Gonna have buns of steel at the end of all this. I've stumbled across an incredibly popular selfie site just up here, just at the base of the tower. And the guy behind me here, who's selling the padlocks, is making an absolute killing. observation deck with all the happy people. This is what happens at sunset and everybody wants to capture it. Not surprisingly, the most amount of English that I've heard so far since I've been in Seoul has been here in Itaewon. Foreigners are everywhere. Just grabbing a juice. I'm gonna get the avocado and banana flavor, but there's so many to choose from. Pretty good. It's 10 to 11 in the morning and these guys just behind me are drinking beers. Welcome to Korea. I've made my way to Hongdae, which is the district around Honggik University. So it's filled with young people, university students and hipsters. a one-piece cafe, can you believe it? Hey Japan, I think the Koreas one-upped you in the cat cafe department. Yep, meerkat cafes. I'm at the Dongdae Moon Design Plaza and to say that this place is impressive is a total understatement. The building itself is absolutely massive. It looks like a humongous space shuttle, which is so cool. They're having a Pixar exhibition right now, so I've got some tickets for it and I'm really excited. The Pixar exhibit was really cool. I love Pixar as much as the next person and the artwork was really nice to look at. My three day weekend has come to an end. Korea has been fantastic. I've had such a great time. It's got character. It feels a lot more like Asia than Japan does. There's elements of other Asian countries that I sense in Korea but Japan is a continent all to, unto itself.
Well, that's it for another video. Thank you again so much for watching. My name is Lin Yunt. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe if you love the video, and I will catch you next time.